hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video. I hope you can hear me well. Hi, Fred. How are you? Hi, Anthony. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Uh, <laughs> are you ready for another crossword? Today, we are going to do a crossword about the weather. And you're going to have to guess different Spanish words about the weather. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I open a new video. Also, you can visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And please give this video a like, a thumbs up, because that is going to help this channel a lot. And... <laughs> Fred is saying, I sensed a disturbance in the force, lol. <laughs> well, this is going to be a free, a free, an easy crossword. Um, we're going to talk mostly about nouns as well. So it's going to be easy. It's not going to be too difficult. We're going to guess 15 words. And of course, we're going to keep score. <laughs> So, are you guys ready? Okay, so last time, Anthony won the... He guessed most words and he, he was the winner of the last... Uh, crossword puzzle and he has won quite a few crossword puzzles so he's very fast so get ready and Anthony <laughs> I'm glad you're here because we're gonna have fun okay so Fred and Anthony are ready great so remember if you want to guess a word use the chat so I can read it and uh, we're gonna keep score and we'll see how it goes okay so I'm going to guess the first not not guess I'm going to to pick the first word for you guys and then after that you depends it depends who uh, guesses the uh, the word that person is going to choose the next word okay so okay let's get started so um, i think i'm going to choose hmm let me see i think the first one is going to be three down three down so that's this one right here three down perfect okay Three down is a noun and the definition is moisture condensed from the atmosphere that falls visibly in separate drops. Okay, we're talking about the weather here. Moisture condensed from the atmosphere that falls visible, visibly in separate drops. Marcos, welcome Marcos. Yes, that is correct. The answer is lluvia, lluvia. Okay, so let's see the word right, he right here, lluvia. Excellent. So the first point is for Marcos. Marcos, one point. Okay, Marcos. You have to choose the next word. So, lluvia, 
by the way, means rain in Spanish. Lluvia, la lluvia. Okay? Rain. Now, Marcos is saying ten down. That's the one right here. Ten down. Okay, the definition is... Well, it is a noun as well. So we have a second noun here. And the definition is a thick cloud of tiny water droplets suspended in the atmosphere at or near the Earth's surface, which obscures or restricts visibility. Okay? So... This one is quite interesting. Do you know how to say this in Spanish? No. It's not nubes. It's not nubes. Okay. No. The right spelling, Marcos, is the first one with B. Nubes. Uh, yeah, but that's not the answer. We're talking about, <clears throat> sorry, about a thick cloud of tiny water droplets suspended in the atmosphere at or near the Earth's, the Earth's uh, surface, which obscures or restricts visibility. So when you're, drive, when you're driving, you should not or when this is happening, you should not drive, rather, because you can't see. It's it's really hard to drive in that condition. And <laughs> yeah, you can't see when you're driving or if, yeah, if you're driving, uh, you can't see uh, the other cars because of this, you know. It's not sereno. It's not sereno. <laughs> Usually, um, you can you can see this happening during the day in the morning. Uh, sometimes when um, the weather is not that good, and yeah. So, do you know what I'm talking about, or do you need do you need to see one letter? Yes, exactly. Anthony, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, how do you say yeah? <laughs> okay, okay. Marcos has the right answer. Niebla, niebla. Okay, so let's show the word niebla. Niebla, niebla. That means fog. Okay. Good job. Okay. Another point for Marcos. Okay. Good job. Perfect. Marcos. Which one next? Oh, by the way, again, niebla, well, means fog in Spanish. <laughs> Okay, so Marcos is saying 14 across, 14 across. That's the one, the one right here, 14 across. Okay, Anthony, yes, I mean, it's good that you're learning uh, or relearning <laughs> Uh, the words that you already know or that you don't remember too well. So that's good. Uh, okay. Fred, uh, we saw your answer, Niebla, but Marcos is, uh, it looks like Marcos has the answer before anyone else. So, okay. 14 across, 14 across. Okay, so this is a short definition. 
and it is also a noun. And the definition is a gentle wind. <laughs> That's it. A gentle wind. So do you know what I'm talking about? This uh, happens usually uh, when you go to the beach, you can feel that. It's very refreshing. Okay, so we can see that the first letter is B. So when you go to the beach, you can feel this gentle wind that is refreshing. And yeah, Marcos, you are correct. That is the answer. Brisa. Brisa. Okay? Uh, that means breeze. And we are going to reveal the word. And it's right here. Brisa. Okay? Fred, you almost, you almost did that first. You almost had the answer first. But Marcos, once again, gets the point. Okay. Good job, Marcos. Okay. He has three points. That's good. Yeah. Brisa sounds a lot like breeze, you know? A gentle wind. Perfect. Okay. Marcos, please let us know the next one. Okay, Marcos is saying 12 across, 12 across. And that one is right here. Oops, <laughs> right here, 12 across. Now, let's see. This is an adjective, okay? We're talking about an adjective here. And the definition is having a high degree of heat or a high temperature. <laughs> We're talking about summer temperatures. Having a high degree of heat or a high temperature. And, and remember, this is an adjective. Yes. Good job, Marcos. <laughs> the correct answer is caliente. Caliente, when something feels hot. Perfect. Okay. So, caliente. 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 Perfect. And that means hot. Okay. And we get, or Marcos gets another point. Okay. Good job, Marcos. Anthony, come on. You can do it as well. Fred, come on. I believe in you guys. Okay. So, Marcos, which one should we do next? Five down. Five down. Okay. Five down is right here. Okay, and the definition is, it is a noun, and the definition is the third season of the year when crops and fruits are gathered and leaves fall in the northern hemisphere from September to November and in the southern hemisphere from March to May, hemisphere. <laughs> yeah, so we're talking about a season here, okay? Uh, the third season of the year, <laughs> that's quite easy, when crops and fruits are gathered and leaves fall. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony has the right answer. We're talking about otoño, otoño. 
perfect. Otoño. Good job, Anthony. Okay, so Anthony gets a point. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so otoño means fall in Spanish. Otoño. Okay, Anthony is saying one across. One across. Ah, that's a long one. <laughs> wow, that's right here. And it has siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Ten, ten letters. So, whoa, okay. That's a challenge for sure. And the definition, well, it is a noun. And the definition is an overflowing of a large amount of water beyond its normal confines, especially over what is normally dry land. Okay, so we're talking about something intense here. It's a noun and it means an overflowing of a large amount of water beyond its normal confines especially over what is normal, normally dry land. So this happens when it rains a lot. <laughs> and actually it has happened recently, it has happened recently because uh, we got like two hurricanes or something like that. So yeah. We're talking about that specifically. So do you guys know the answer? Okay, yeah, well, Fred, I think I'm gonna give I'm thinking here because Fred has it almost right. And <laughs> I think I'm going to give the point to Fred. Yeah, I think I'm going to give the point to Fred. Uh, Fred, you're just missing a an accent mark, but I think yeah, you should you should get the point for sure. That's correct. We're talking about inundación. Inundación. Okay, so inundación, inundación has an accent mark on top of the letter O. And, but you know what? That's fine. It's pretty much perfect. The answer is pretty much right. Correct. So I'm going to give the point to Fred. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Fred. Fred gets a point. Perfect. So inundación means flood. Okay. Inundación, flood. Perfect. Okay, Fred. Good job. Now, can you tell us which one is going to be next? We have two down, we have four across, six, uh, six down. So Fred. Okay, Fred, I'll pick. Mm, let's do a short one. I think this one is the shortest and so it might be easy. Okay, let's do eight across. Eight across. Okay. This is a noun and the definition is the star around which the earth orbits. <laughs> this one is easy. This 
the star around which the Earth orbits. Okay, we're talking about a star, a very, very bright star. Mm hmm. Yep, that is the answer. Anthony has the answer. Sol. We're talking about the sun. Sol. Sol. Sun. Okay. And Anthony gets the point. Oops. I think it was two. <laughs> okay. Anthony, which one? Six down. <laughs> okay, six down. Let's do six down. Okay, so that one is right here. This one has three, six, seven, eight, nine letters. Ooh, okay, so this is a noun and the definition is the occurrence of a natural electri electrical discharge of very short dura duration and high voltage between a cloud and the ground or within a cloud accompanied by a bright flash and typically also thunder. <laughs> So, <laughs> I think this one is pretty easy. Remember that, well, this one has an accent mark, but I think uh, I'll give... <laughs> I think I'll give the point to... Uh, yeah, Anthony. Yeah, Anthony. Uh, you're missing an accent mark, but I think, yeah, it's right. It's right. And <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're talking about relámpago, 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 relámpago. And it has an accent mark on top of the letter A, the first A. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to keep the point to Anthony. So Anthony three, Marcos four, Fred one. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Anthony, which one next? We have two down, four across, seven across, nine down, 15 across, 11 uh, down, 13 down. Okay, four across, four. Oh my goodness, Anthony, you like long words. <laughs> okay, so four across, this one is another long word which means uh, it might be a challenge. <laughs> okay, four across. This is a noun and the definition is a prediction or estimate of future events, especially coming weather. Okay, usually a person tells you this and um, it's pretty much a prediction of the weather. Okay. So do you know the, how to say this in Spanish? Uh, it's a noun. Okay. And it's, it might be a little bit challenging. This, this word might be a little bit challenging, but yeah, we're talking about a prediction or estimate of future events, especially coming weather. Oh, Marcos. Wow, that was fast. Oh my goodness. Okay, so 
that's the right answer. And he even has the accent mark. Perfect. Pronostico, pronostico, perfect, beautiful. Okay, so that's the right answer. And this means, <clears throat> excuse me, this means forecast, okay? Pronostico, pronostico, forecast. Excellent, so I'm gonna give a point to Marcos. Marcos has five points. Anthony, three. Fred, one. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> well, that's good to know. That's good to know, Marcos, that your parents used to watch the news in Spanish. That's, that's helpful for sure. Okay, so Marcos, which one next? We have only one, two, three, four, Five, six, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have two down, nine down, 13 down, 11 down, seven across. And remember, guys, that you can download this crossword puzzle on smlessons.com slash games. It's for free. So if you want to download it, it's pretty easy. Okay, so Marco says 13 down. Okay, perfect. 13 down. That one is right here and the definition is this is a noun and a the definition is a visible mass of condensed water vapor floating in the atmosphere typically high above the ground Do you know the answer? 13 down. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony, that's correct. That's the right answer. We're talking about nube. Nube. Perfect. Nube. Nube. That was that was quite fast. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it wasn't nieve. Uh, it's nube, and that means cloud. Nube, cloud. Okay, and Anthony gets the point. Anthony, four. Wow, okay. We see here that Anthony is almost, almost five points. So one point away, Marcos. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay, so Anthony says seven across. Uh, let's see. Okay, seven across is this one right here. And we can see already three letters. So feel free to say, yeah. Well, okay, I just saw, <laughs> I just saw that Anthony that's the answer. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. We're talking about viento. Viento. And well, that's quite easy because you can see the the three letters already. And yeah, good job, Anthony. <laughs> okay, so viento, viento. Viento means wind, okay? Viento, wind. Okay, so Anthony gets the point five we have a tie right now oh my goodness okay fred i believe in you <laughs> i believe in you fred come on you got this anthony says nine down nine down okay anthony that one is right here guys nine down 
Okay, so the definition, oh, this is a short definition too. So pay attention. This is a verb and the definition is hell false. Okay? <laughs> it's a verb. It's a verb and the definition is hell false. How do you call that when, you know, hail falls <laughs> you're doing a good job a good job anthony because i mean you said you don't know much about weather but look at you you already have five points <laughs> okay so we're talking about a verb here marcos yeah that is the answer the answer is Granizar, granizar, perfect. Granizar. And this means to hail, you know, like when it's hailing outside. Perfect. Granizar, granizar. Another point for Marcos. Perfect. Marcos, six points. Anthony, five. Fred one. Okay. Jamás ha caído granizo en mi área. Marcos is saying, well, that's good because that can be a little destructive, right? <laughs> okay. So we have only three words left. And Marcos is saying 15 across. 15 across is uh, short. It's a short word. It's right here at the bottom. And let me just have some water. <laughs> because this is a little intense. Okay. So, 15 across. Okay, the definition. This is an adjective, first of all. This is an adjective and definition is of or at a low or relatively low temperature, especially when compared with the human body. How do you call this? <laughs> when you have to wear a jacket because, you know, it's too... How do you say this in Spanish? It's an adjective. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is tough. Because frío is the right answer. And uh, frío has an accent mark. But because we're giving points to people that are missing the accent marks, I think... I think I'll have to, I have to be consistent. So I'm going to give the point to Fred. Good job. That is the right answer. Frio. Just remember that frio has an accent mark on top of the letter I. Frio. Frio. And that means cold. Okay. So Fred gets a point. Good job, Fred. Okay. Excellent. So, Fred, which one do you want? Two down or 11 down? We only have two left. Okay? Only two left. Okay, that's fine, Fred. If you can't type in the accent marks, that's fine. Don't worry about it. But let us know which one, 2 or 11. 2, I think both of them have the same amount of letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, both of them. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I see Anthony says calor, but 
no <laughs> no that was a good guess but no we're gonna do <laughs> that's not we don't have that word i believe just let me double check okay let me double check just in case uh no <laughs> we don't have calor we don't have calor sorry <laughs> anthony but yeah okay let's do two down and that one is right here okay so the definition two down this is a noun and the definition is the weather conditions prevailing in an area in general or over a long period okay this is a noun and this means the weather conditions prevailing in an area in general or over a long period okay so we're talking about yeah <laughs> Okay, so Marcos gets the point. We're talking about clima, clima. And that means, what does it mean? <laughs> that means it can, sometimes it could mean uh, weather, but sometimes uh, it, it can mean climate. You know, clima, climate. Okay, yeah, climate. Okay, so Marcos gets the point. Seven, Marcos seven, Anthony five, Fred two. Perfect. Climate, yeah, climate or weather. Okay, so we have only one left. One left. And that's 11 down, 11 down. Okay. Okay, Marcos is guessing the last one. Let me see if that's correct. Hold your horses, Marcos. <laughs> okay. Um No. <laughs> it's not nie it's not nieve. It's not nieve, but that was a good guess for sure. That was a good guess. Um this one is actually, let me just uh, check something really quickly. Okay, yeah, it's not, it's not nieve. Oops, <laughs> what happened there? Sorry about that. Okay, so 11 down. This is a noun and the definition is the region of the atmosphere and outer space seen from the earth okay so i know this game is almost over but do you know what i'm talking about it's the region of the atmosphere and outer space seen from the earth this is something that is blue and you can see it every time you look up. <laughs> Do you know the answer? It's blue. And it's up, up there. <laughs> yeah. Cielo. That is the right answer. That means sky. Yeah, that's correct, Marcos. Marcos gets the point and we can see we have a winner. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Before uh, I, I already said that cielo means sky, right? So <laughs> good job. Marcos is the winner. Marcos Bar Barrera, congratulations. Congratulations, you you won and we can see the score again marcos eight anthony five fred two and good job good job anthony good job <laughs> good job fred welcome dory <laughs> and yeah 
Yeah, good job, Marcos. You are the winner of this uh, crossword puzzle. Good job. You guys did a good job overall. You guessed all, all, all the words. So, man, you know Spanish for sure. And we'll see you next time, right? We'll see you next time. Marcos has won this crossword puzzle. Remember that you can download this crossword puzzle on smlessons.com slash games. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do you have any questions? Do you have any suggestions for future crossword puzzles? Let me know. I'm gonna see the chat right now and see what you're telling me. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, Anthony Grant has won many, many, many crossword puzzles already. And well, today Marcos won. So that's that's pretty cool as well. Okay. Thank you, Marcos. You too, as well. Muy divertido. Gracias por tu tiempo. You're welcome, Anthony. I'm glad you were here. You guys did a, an excellent job. You should be proud of yourselves. And this was really fun. This was very, very, very fun. Okay, well, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. You can go to smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons to download this crossword puzzle. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That helps this channel a lot. Thank you so much. Have a good night. And we'll see you or I'll see you next time. Bye.